guys welcome back to another video this is your boy be distinct thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure to give this video a like and let's get on with today's video today i wanted to talk to you guys about um my interior now i get i, I get tough right now because like um i try to space out my videos uh every three days because i i don't want to run out of content i want to space it out and not oversaturate you guys with content so i try to space out but i feel like right now i'm kind of behind on videos so i'm gonna try to put out maybe two days every two days i'm gonna put out a video try my best but today is gonna be about my interior lighting ton of you guys I'm talking about comments after comment not only on YouTube but also on IG I get legit like maybe five to six comments or uh, messages I mean on Instagram talking about my uh, interior trimming and things like my interior lighting and so today I want to show you guys where I got these from where uh, what is what it's like to drive at night with it and um, what the whole shebang all right and you guys are going to see all the details here even though i already did the detail of where i got them and literally the installation but uh, maybe that was a little bit back behind so i'm kind of going to refresh you guys let you guys know uh, where everything came from so let's get on with the g first person point of view of getting into the car during the daylight this is daylight we're going to get inside during the nighttime here a little bit of the g so that'll be good but well, here's the first person point of view so you go uh, and it has my my windshield so it'll kind of be warm but here you go so here's where i put my connection it's kind of i guess you would say tacky this is the only tacky part yeah here's a little like i guess the battery that kind of supports it and here's where this battery this battery pack is for the uh the trimming the one on the gaps now that i got from plexer.com i'm gonna put the link right here and in the description below it's from plexer.com they're about 25 dollars i believe um if you want single color but they were able to actually sponsor me and send me the multi-color one which you get a control like this um like this here comes a controller it comes with a control like this guys so um i really recommend the multi-color one because i'm not gonna lie you kind of get tired of the color sometimes i go red then it'll get you know kind of boring i'll switch it up get to blue and it'll add a whole ambience to the to the car and i'm gonna show you guys at night the whole color change and things like but you know it keeps the car alive with different colors so that's really good cigarette lighter right there uh, very easy you press it and uh, it turns on but right now the car's off so obviously it's not gonna turn on and then the actual bar itself is just a translucent bar you see and it has these little clips and these clips go into the little gaps so you just put them throughout the whole interior and you know in the day I guess I'm not going to lie to you guys it does kind of seem a little bit tacky especially on the other side let's see you know you guys get to see the bar and sometimes they comes down especially if you live in sunny days um you know you see the little bar and it's kind of you know in the day it's kind of it's all right you know it's just like you know you see the white and i know there's different ones online there's single color ones that they're the bar itself lights up so you just kind of and they're suit they're really thin they're really thin so they kind of just go in there and um you can't really see them but these you you could you could see um, but yeah, I was able to mold these with these clips right here and my trimming on the back is kind of falling off and it's kind of trash So uh, this one kind of folds out But maybe if I could find a different clip and put it here It'll stick out straight then it comes around the dash and it comes back around here and uh, Around here so some clips and here's a wire and I kind of hit tried my base to hide it under the dry the right here so that's basically the dashboard uh light that's the dashboard light and and honestly in the day yes it is a little bit tacky you don't really mind it because you're driving and you don't really mind it but in the nighttime that's where the real magic begins and it turns into a spaceship i freaking love it and if you guys want it go ahead i really recommend it it changes the whole thing of the car i really 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 do love it okay now the second thing i have is uh the ambient lighting under the footwell you know you can't really see it it's underneath there really hidden i have one two and then in the back seat of that one and so they kind of spread like uh, the spider they all have that power module like that thing and it spreads in four cables like a spider. One to that side, one to this back seat, one to this back seat, and one to the front. You can't even see the wiring. That's how good I hit it. It's actually under this plastic. But the power source is here in my armrest. You take out this thing, and you can see it's kind of a mess. But 
um, you kind of hide it there. Uh, this is the antenna right here. I leave this out so that I can just go to the side over here and change the color when I want to. So whenever I get um, say this is the say this is the light control, I just go over here, cheek cheek, change the light, and boom. The only thing I wish is I could have wish it could have been more towards here because this I turn on the car right and i could easily just boom press this button and the whole thing lights up which is pretty cool you know it's like an eject button it's freaking beautiful and i could do the same thing with this but i don't want to open this press that and then boom you know so i just grab the control and turn on everything kind of like a remote control boom on and everything so and those i got from amazon for about literally like you can get them anywhere from like 15 to 25 dollars you know they're all pretty much the same thing but um, yeah, get them on Amazon. I'll try to find links for you guys and I'll put them in the description But pretty much they're all like the same thing and uh, you'll get the same effect But I think this perfect combo like the dash combined with the footwell lighting. It's it's just beautiful guys I love lighting. I don't care how rice how whatever. I don't give a damn what you guys think Okay, the outside I freaking love it because when I get to look at it on the outside, you know, it's beautiful but 100 100% about 90% of the time you're gonna spend time inside the car and I want to enhance my experience as much as I enhance your guys's by changing the outside right so when I'm on the inside and this thing's lit up at night I feel like freaking awesome it just adds so much and I get to experience almost the same excitement as you guys do when you guys see the outside so this is just freaking awesome it feels almost it doesn't feel like a Mercedes quality obviously but it's really really up there it's up there it's freaking nice guys and i will show you guys right now when it turns night i will take you guys to a drive and show you guys exactly how beautiful it is and especially when you hear the vq bro even better and if you slap some beast ass music even better so um let's go to let's wait till it's nighttime switch it up and um, I'll see you guys there in my GoPro. I'm going to do it in the GoPro because this big ass heavy camera is good. It's good quality and it blurs the background and everything. But um, it, I'm not going to be holding this while driving. It's super damn heavy and it's really close up. And with the GoPro, you get to experience the whole cabin and with not really with this. So we're going to switch to the GoPro and it's a little bit less better quality, but it's still good enough. So let's switch to the GoPro three. I always mess this up, dude. Okay. Let's let's switch up tonight. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, this is everyday night. You put in the key and well, actually everything's turned off. So uh, so yeah, like I said earlier in the video, there's the 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 black yeah. one, the one for ambient lighting. You have to turn off by control by uh control. So you click it on the side and excuse me, boom, and that turns on, right? Then you, then the white one, you usually would get the control, but since it's right here, you could just press the button and boom, it lights up. So that's pretty cool, right? So like I said, if you guys get one color, yeah, it's fine. It looks sick, but I really suggest a multicolor because then you guys could, you know, mess with it, you know, chick blue, then you would grab the control and then you would switch it to like blue, light blue. There's different shades of blue. That's purple, you know, blue. And then, you know, you get to switch up, do different combinations, yellow, orange you know then you get the little party stuff um, yeah there's like fade you know it fades in slow there's different parties and you could do the same with this um, with the thing you see it's lighting up I really don't suggest you driving like that because then that's pretty wild but if you want the fade one the fade one's pretty sick like that it just keeps switching colors and then you could just set it to like a like a nice red here on the side and then you know it keeps switching colors so we'll just leave it there but yeah let's get a little night drive here and um show you guys the experience here at universal studios we're gonna roll down the window so that you guys can hear the vq but uh, yeah let's turn on our lights and let's rock on here we go it's gonna be a nice little drive because um, we're driving short distance, but
waited for that car to pass. But yeah, you see how the color's changing? It's a nice experience here at Universal Studios. I hate this because I want to go on second gear, but since I have speed bump after speed bump, then I can't really gear it. But right here, we have a nice little way. See if we can get some stops on right here. Let's go. here at our destination real quick so uh we'll have to find but uh yeah let me show you guys some more driving clips can you guys show the trunk some appreciation for how beautiful it is oh my god sheesh we'll get you guys some more driving footage right now in a bit after i get out of practice all right guys night drive part two here we go Got the switching colors in the dashboard. Waiting for Perry. It's all about that low life. I'm not even that low. Oh, I heard that. I'm gonna drive with my knees. I hate speed bumps because look, I don't scratch. I don't. Uh, uh, what do you call it? I don't scrape on some, but on some I do. The, the speed bumps are so uneven, it's crazy, bro. I'm oh, you can hear some pops there. I can't do crazy pulls right here because I'm just going through residential places. Came to pick up my girlfriend up, but damn. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is the overview. Let me know what you guys think of the setup. I hope you guys really enjoyed and are inspired by this, and hopefully, you guys do this to your car. But uh, let's go check that front lip. I think I scraped it and maybe it broke. I don't know. Let me check. Everything seems okay. Look, my bumper's cracked right there, guys. It like it's literally cracked so uh we're gonna have to fix that but uh besides that i hope you guys have a great day uh no i'm fine besides that i hope you guys have a great day hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment what you guys think and i'll catch you guys next video all the links in the description will be down below so you guys don't have to ask me boom link in the description